Okay, I promised you more with this projectile in a current, right? And so what we did with this projectile in the current is we had a um, projectile that was fired perpendicularly into this uh, chamber or uh, whatever it's called. And um, so I want to fire it in here perpendicularly this way so that it's going in the y direction, right? That's y at some speed v naught, while in the x direction there's a current uh, with a speed w. Right? And um, it turns out that since there's gravity, and this is starting at some height h, this is going to have some sort of trajectory like this. All right, So it's going to have a um, projection on the bottom like that, so the shadow will make that little dashed line here, and the actual trajectory will be above it. <coughs> So what I would like to do is I'd like to find the tangent normal and binormal vectors for this trajectory. So at any given point, I want to find the tangent vector, which is just along the direction of the um, motion. Uh, the normal vector, which is sort of in the direction of the in the direction perpendicular to the tangent and along the curve. So that would be the normal direction. And then there's a binormal direction, which is off perpendicular to both of those. So those are the three, three things that I'd like to find. Now, I told you that we were going to be playing with this before, right? So I've already gone and derived the trajectory, right? And I did that in a previous video uh, using the acceleration. And I could probably just bring out the um, speed and or the velocity and the acceleration to find these vectors. <clears throat> But we'll go through it the long way because you may not have seen that. And of course, this is to help you figure out what's going on. So the uh, eventually this ball is going to start moving in the um, x direction at that total speed, at that speed w. So that's going to go at wt. Um, but first, it's going to be going at something less than that. Um, and we multiply by um, that speed w over alpha, which is a time constant, a decay constant, and some e to the minus alpha t. So it's originally going to be going zero in this direction, right? One time. Um, so it'll originally be going zero in that direction, and then it will move along. Um, then we will... Uh, want to <clears throat> go ahead and um, add in the v naught over alpha. So the original speed coming out here, and that's going to go to some sp exponentially approach some value and then stop. So it's just going to stop at this perpendicular plane here. It won't pass this plane because the um, water will slow it down. And then we have the height, which is h minus uh, g prime over alpha. g prime is an acceleration that takes into account the buoyancy. And that's also going to slow down until this reaches a, um, until this reaches a um, constant speed, g prime over alpha times t. Okay, and so that's what we're going to use here. We're going to use that and find our um, <clears throat> our actual speed here. So, um, what are we going to do? Well, we need to find um, what a is the tangential direction or tangential direct a tangential vector. I'll just find the vector. I won't normalize these. Um, you can normalize them yourself, but it's just going to make the equation complicated because I'm not going to do it at a particular point. The principal normal and the binormal. All right, and um, A for the um, tangent, the tangential vector is, a, a tangential vector is one that's just going the speed. So 
perpendicular to a um, trajectory is its velocity. So if we just take uh, t is equal to um, our dot, and that's going to be um, our uh, tangential vector. Now we're going to want to do this um, you know, systematically, but it's not a major difficulty here. Everything is pretty simple. Plus g prime over alpha t minus g prime over alpha squared. Excuse me. I was having a little trouble there because I looked at the wrong line on my notes. All right. And, um, and so we've got all this going on here. Now we just have to uh, distribute the derivative, right? So if you taking the deriv derivative of a parameter, you just distribute it through the vector. Um, of the derivative of w t is just w minus uh, the derivative of w over alpha is zero. The w the derivative of minus e to the minus alpha t is alpha e to the minus alpha t, and then you multiply that by w over alpha. So you have w e to the minus alpha t. Uh, we could make that a little nicer if we wanted to, but I don't. Um, again here, everything we just said here happens here, so we just have v naught e to the minus alpha t. Um, the derivative of h is zero. Um, the derivative of g prime over alpha times t is g prime over alpha, and the derivative of this is um, like still alpha e to the minus alpha t, and we multiply that by g prime over alpha squared. So we have minus g prime over, um, actually this should be minus, it should be plus g prime over alpha e to the minus alpha t. Uh, again, I looked at the wrong part of my notes, and so I had something wrong there at the beginning, uh, which is fine. All right, so just fix things as you find problems. That's how you do it. Part of the part, part of the point of these, remember, is to watch me actually doing problems, so you don't think that you're supposed to be able to do every problem um, right all the time, like performance art. Um, people who do that in class, one, are doing really easy problems, and two, are not helping you learn. All right, so the normal direction is going to be actually in the direction of the acceleration. It's actually which direction it's turning in. So right now it's going in some direction. Now it's going to turn in a direction to make this curve. The normal direction, or the principal normal direction, is the direction that this is turning in. It's actually outward, um, but still it's in that direction. So actually it should be outward, so this should be a minus r double dot, I think. Um, because the defin again, the definition is it's the outward uh, direction from that, not the actual acceleration. It's in the opposite direction of the acceleration. Um, so then we just do the same time derivative, but now with respect to r dot. So we have w minus w e to the minus alpha t, v naught e to the minus alpha t. And this is part of the reason why I didn't clean things up is because then I'd have to dirty them up again so that I could take more derivatives and so forth. And it doesn't really help you at all. Um, take the derivative through here, derivative of w is 0, w minus w e to the minus alpha t is um, alpha w e to the minus t, but we have a minus there, so we have a minus alpha times um, w e to the minus alpha t, uh, v naught minus alpha minus alpha e to the minus alpha t is the derivative of that guy, so we have minus time that times v naught, so we have v naught um, e to the minus, v naught alpha v naught times e to the minus t. All right, and now g prime over alpha derivative is zero, plus g prime over alpha um, e to the minus alpha t, so that's minus alpha times blah blah blah, and we have alpha, uh, no, the alphas go away, so we just have g prime e to the minus alpha t, and zap. Um, there you go, we've got a, uh, a normal direction that's um, in the same direction as 
the acceleration. So it's just going in the opposite direction. All right, so you can check that out and see how close that looks to what I gave you in the first video. And so, you know, I could have just written these from the last video, but again, in the homework, you don't actually um, get that option because it's a completely random function that the guy made up. So you don't, again, you don't get that option. Now, the binormal is just the um, direction that's perpendicular to the tangential vector that is also perpendicular to the normal vector. So B is orthogonal to both N and T. And I don't remember what the correct direction is. That doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to use T cross N. And, well, you don't get to use this formulation enough, so I will do it. So T is W1 minus E to the minus alpha T. Uh, see how tricky I am. Uh, minus alpha W E to the minus alpha T here. And that is, if I, used, I haven't used unit vectors, so I'll use X hat, Y hat, Z hat. Um, the y direction is v naught e to the minus alpha t and alpha v naught e to the minus alpha t and the z direction is minus g prime alpha one minus e to the minus alpha t and um, g prime e to the minus alpha t again z direction so we take that determinant and that gives us the um, cross product it's not it's not the most sophisticated way to do it, but it is the way that you love to do it, so we'll just leave it to that. Um, the most sophisticated way to do it isn't the easiest either, so we'll, you know, let's just stick to things, you know, stick to the good stuff while we're ahead. So we have a V naught G prime, all right, in the X hat direction we have V naught G prime, and we have E to the minus alpha T is common. And then we have, um, so this guy is e to the minus alpha t uh, plus 1 minus e to the minus alpha t. All right, so plus 1 minus e to the minus alpha t, so that plus that, we just gives us a 1. So well, we don't need that at all. That's awesome. All right, plus y hat. Again, I have notes, but I just use them when I get confused, which is really easy because this is a weird angle. All right, so again, I have um, a common factor, which is in this case uh, WG prime, right? And so there's also, actually, this should be a minus sign, so oh, plus, this time this is plus, so that's minus. And then we have this minus this thing, minus this thing, uh, e to the minus alpha t is common, and that thing is minus, and that was a minus, so that's still a plus, and so we get the same factor that gives us 1. Awesome. And then we have z prime. All right, and the alpha is now common as is a V naught and a W. So those are all common as is one factor of E to the minus alpha T. All right, so we have one minus E to the minus alpha T is plus, minus a plus, plus another E to the minus alpha T, so we still have a one. So that's it, that's our binormal. And that was our normal, and that was our tangential direction. And that's all we really needed to do for this um, thing, to find these three vectors, right? Again, you've got this curve like this. I'm redrawing it because it's hard to see. And then I've got some point on it, which is probably shouldn't be right there where I've got other things going on. I've got some point on it. It's got some direction here in the velocity. That's the tangential direction here. <coughs> one coming outward, that's the normal direction, and finally one perpendicular. Uh, thank you very much, I had just lost my voice, so I'll talk to you later, bye now. <clears throat>